and today I'll be showing you to make the pretzel wave bracelet. This bracelet is designed by Fat Chris underscore Christine on Instagram and I'll be linking her Instagram page down below in the description box and yeah so sorry for not posting any videos. Um, I've been very busy with school, homework, especially when I have my major exam this examination this year. So yeah. If you already like this bracelet already, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below as well and give fat underscore Christine on Instagram a follow if you have Instagram. And without further ado, let's get started with some materials needed. So you need a loom. I'll be using a luminator, but I decided to use my ring loom today because it will be much easier for you to understand the video. And yeah, so and you need some bands. I'll be using Rim Room Limited Edition in and Yang, in and Yang bands. Um, I'll be just using white bands only, so yeah. And I also have this. Oh, okay, by the way, I changed the background, so it might be a bit dirty. There's no hair, these are just scratches. So I'll be using a peach frost band and yellow frost band. So Basically, my work table is quite messy, so the border band will be white, and then the all the peach frost and the yellow frost will be the inside bands. And you also need a hook and a a slip. So, without further ado, let's get started with the placement of bands. We're gonna start off with a single band. So I sometimes I can't really. Do like I have to do it like that. So put bear from this pack to this pack. And put a band from this pack to this pack. I think this is uncomfortable. Oops, sorry. I might not be able to film properly because I have a lot of up obstacles right here. But sorry, hold on. Okay, this is much, much, much better. That's my life, I'm wondering. I'm gonna have this pack to this pack. Place a band from this pack to this pack. And place a band from this pack to this pack. Place a band from this pack to this pack. And you're just gonna continue the same pattern all the way down the loop, including until here and I'll be right back to show you how to close off the border to the end on the video and I'm gonna oh Andre what just happened okay I just had some bands spill spill it so my back from this pack to this pack my table is very messy so I just focus on this part and now to end or close off we are gonna put a band from this pack to this pack or you can do it the other way just this it really doesn't matter and now we can start pasting the bands that go are in the inside. So this step is also very easy. All you need to do is just place a band from this this pad to this pad right here. Okay, I have not opened the pad. Place a band from this pack to this pack. We're gonna alternate colors. Uh, um, you can use one color as well, but I like I will be alternating colors so that you can visualize it more better. Or else you will get mixed up. Unless you have very advanced humor, but I won't get mixed up. But yeah, I'm just doing this. gonna do this all the way down the loop all the way down the loop to this pack and I'll be right back Alright, last band from this pack to this pack if you do look something like this if so we can start the hooking process right now 
But first, we need to put our cap bed. So just cap it around here. Like that. Just make a cap down like that and then put our tree. Now you can start the hooking process. The hooking process is very simple. All you need to do is let me zoom in right here. Oops. Okay, I just need to zoom in properly. Wait, hold on. Okay. So you're just gonna push back the cap band, get the top colored band and hook it forward. Like that, and you're gonna push back this band on this part right here and hook the peach the colored band on top and hook it forward your other color. So I use two colors so I you will not be confused, so I push up my peach frost, the top two bands, and grab the yellow frost band and hook it forward. So you're just gonna push back the band here and grab the band and hook it forward. And you're gonna do that all the way up the loop. This is more of a rapid tip. Oops. Okay, yeah, I think this is much better. Sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Um, I just shifted my camera a bit. It's more my phone than camera, but yeah. So, I'll be right back after I have all the bags on this. If you're, if you're in doubt, feel free to watch previous instructions or or if you know how to do this already, pause, pause the video here and yeah, I'll be right I'm back. I just hooked my last two bands. Sorry, I have a bit of sinus. Now you're gonna push your band on this pack. Grab this band right here that goes across and you're gonna hook it to this center right here. Since you can't hook it forward. If you look, look something similar like that, then we can start the hooking process of the borders. And this is even simpler. You're just gonna push back the go down back to the loop, go down to the bottom of the loop, push back the cat band, grab the top band, the bottom band to this pad right here. Push back the band, grab the bottom band and hook it forward. And you're just gonna do this all the way up the loop. This is super easy and yeah, I just gonna push out the band, get the bottom band and hook it forward. Probably it come like that because I did push my band down so it could be done. So we're gonna just repeat, do this all the way up the loop and then do this all the way up the loop and I'll be right back after I have finished hooking the side body bands. And see this is the top of the loop and now I'm gonna push out the bands, get the bottom band and hook it to this pad right here. So if you just check if your loom should look something your loom should look something similar. If so we can move our bracelet off the loom as if the band to the band on this pad right here. So or there's another alternative method which I'll be doing today is that I'll be sticking my loop hook through grabbing a white band Take a white band like that and pulling it through all the bands oops oops that always happens okay, I'm gonna redo this it can be a bit thrifty sometimes Tie a slip knot right here, and this one you get a charm. You grab your s okay. I think I'm losing some stuff, but I will not. I always have spares. See you. I'm just gonna clip this bit off. Okay, I can be a bit clumsy. How do you? 
lot of in. Oh, sweet. Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, I got it. This only for is temporary. I'll be showing you what I'll be doing later. And then I'm going to remove it off. Sorry to see something right here. Um, I have finished the bracelet. I like how the bracelet turned out as thick, but not as thick as this, I guess. Yeah, this is too much thicker than this. Maybe we need to stretch it a bit. But this is totally not the task of great. So, yeah. Now we're gonna do something like. Yeah, so. so we're just gonna see the number of bands we need for an extension. If you want, you can do it on two looms to avoid doing an extension, but I'll be doing an extension today. Although I have two looms, but I'm trying to get a few more. I'll need 11 bands for an extension. I know that's quite big though. I'll need another six. Some bands can be quite weird. Okay, that's all the bands I need. And for the extension. And now I'm gonna just do make the extension. So yeah, I'll be making the extension on my loom. I'm gonna wrap it. Down from this pack to this pack. Hold on. Six. I'm most so, depending on the bracelet. I might need. More extension or less extension depending. So you're just gonna put Oh wait, not cut one. Sorry, sorry. Now I still remember the top two bands where I put the C clip. That's where we're gonna put the band. And then I'm gonna shoot here and I'm gonna remove the C clip. Okay, oh OMG, OMG, this is horrible. OMG. Sorry, I might do that in some video, so I'm just gonna hook the single chain and I'll be right back after you hook all the way through the whole process. You're going to go to the end of your loop and take it, take the cap band and you're gonna slot the cap, the C clip. Yeah. We're just gonna pull off the loop. Oops, oops. I am always very afraid of removing the last band, so we're just gonna stretch it. There, okay, sorry. We're just gonna stretch it right here. Like that, and you're gonna just slot it in there. Pull it off. So, this is your, what your bracelet should look like after you have. And the extension and it should look something like this so thank you for watching this video and yeah so do you remember to hashtag this bracelet to put on let me write something okay I'm writing very fast so do not mind my handwriting oops Hashtag your bracelet to Fat Christie without the underscore and Fluffy Berry Looms. Um, this is meant to be L, but I own, I would a capital letter L. So thank you for watching and bye. See you in my next tutorial, which will be on a hot move of the night. So bye.